Welcome in to another edition of Digging Deep Detecting. Well, thanks for being with me. Um, headed back out to what I'm calling the English trading post. Um, you know, just a lot of English trade gun, English buttons. Uh, so it's gonna head back there today. Gonna toggle between large and small coils, see if we can't cut through some of the iron that's in the area. But um, it's been a, been a really great spot. Lots of, lots of great finds. So excited to see what we're gonna pull out today. Thanks for being with me. Wish me luck. See you soon. Okay, pretty deep 16. My plugs fall apart like that. All right, and it's pretty rocky in here too. Let's see if we found it. I'm right here. I think I see something. Right there. Ah, oh, the bottom of a cross. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. It's the bottom of a silver cross. Oh wow. Look at that work on there. Wow, oh, that is so beautiful. Let's let's um scan the hole. See if we can find more of it. Maybe the rest is in here. That's definitely the bottom of a large silver cross. All right, give me one second here. I'm going to set that up here. Nope. Oh, man. Well, that is beautiful. Hopefully we find the rest of that. Oh, great find. Let's keep going. Okay, about a foot away here, I have a 19. Pretty rocky hole. Let's see if we can find it. it sounds really good. I saw something in there, but I don't know. Let's see if we got it yet. It didn't sound as, as deep. Yeah, that's my shovel. It's getting... Oh, it's over here. Oh, I see something in there. Roundness. Oh, it's a button. You can see the shank. Old flat button. Let's see if it's got anything on it. Mm, the ground is just corroding away the surface. I don't think it's going to have anything on it, but. Good flat button, good target. If I find anything on it, I'll bring you guys back, but it looks pretty slick, so. Probably just uh standard one piece. This is, um, you know, based on a shank, I'd say late 17, early 1800s. So, good find, let's keep going. Okay, got a 15 here. Kind of sketchy, so. I'm gonna see something up there. See that? Silver brooch. All right. It's got a little chunk taken out of it there. But nice piece. Um. A lot of people ask me why I don't spray these or do anything with them um, in the field. Like, why don't I bring a water bottle and spray? Um, it just to clarify, I don't do that because these brooches are extremely, extremely fragile. Um, so I don't like to do any cleaning in the field uh, outside of just light, light wiping because, um, yeah, they just, you know, even the introduction of like water temperature change and stuff. These things I've had them just explode on me before so I try to actually what like my typical technique is just put them back into dirt into a container and um, so that they don't um, break uh, right away and that, that gives them some 
protection and then I clean them up later very very slowly so just so you guys are aware but beautiful brooch great find let's keep going all right so I apologize I didn't get this piece live I actually had two modern nails in the same hole um, but it's a really unique uh, piece so I'm gonna turn it around let's take a look so there it is um, just a cut piece of silver you can see it's got a hole at the top hole at the bottom so this would have been part of some other um, object I'm gonna try and here flip this over for you because on the back yeah you can see it's just got some folded over pieces but unique got some scrolling uh, so very interesting piece so great find let's keep going all right solid 13 here Let's see what we got. Right here, I think. I think this is it, whatever it is. Nope. Still in the hole. There it is. I'm gonna just take a little scoop. Just got it now. Oh, we moved it. But it's still in the hole. Hold on. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Right down in here. Another silver brooch. This one's been beaten up, but lost the tongue, but good find. Let's keep going. We got a really small but solid 14. Really tight. So let's see what we got. Okay, get that plug pulled out. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, no. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right there, I see something. Little tiny ring. Ah, uh, oh. Silver roach. There it is. Oh, small one. Pretty though. Excellent. All right. Great find. Let's keep going. So I don't film a lot of these, you know, but uh, just so you guys are aware, like, this is what I'm talking about when I say there's a lot of iron in the ground, iron nails. Um, these are hand forged, blacksmith forged nails and uh solid solid iron and just all mangled you know but i'm finding a lot of these they're unique they're cool i save them all uh, clean them up but they definitely hide a lot of good targets so just thought i'd show this one because it was kind of cool well did it again this one was right on the surface like less than an inch under thought it was a pull tab the way it just rang up but uh turn your guys around see what you see what i got so all right so again another piece of hand cut silver you guys can see some of the ornateness on there um you know a hole at the top hole at the bottom definitely handmade by probably by native american out of a larger piece of silver uh but uh very unique very very great find good save there so keep going all right we're gonna do a live dig here could be modern but absolutely screaming 1819 so it's uh i just keep you right with me right there What we got? Ooh, rocky. Super deep. Get some of I need the rock here. Somewhere. A little bit. Maybe. right here yep it's a musket ball yeah. yep, there it is nice 
find. Just a little. There it is. There's a nice big British musket ball. The British used, I can't remember the caliber, I want to say it was 55 or 65. But anyway, bigger than the French, so I can usually tell them pretty easily in my hand. They're much bigger than French. So, good find. Let's keep going. Alright, so I'm working a lot of iron targets right now. Um, and came across this good find. I'll just clean this up for a second here. So this is it's called a striker. And uh, you hold it in your hand like this. And you would rub a flint or um, your blade across this and create a spark. So basically the lighter of the day. Um, really cool find. These can often have um, maker's marks on them. But uh, you know, this, was, this is a tool that I find quite often. This one's in great shape, not broken. So this is uh, just a great find. Definitely period of uh, mid 17 to like late 1700s, early 1800s. So great find. Uh, I'll probably clean this up and give you guys a wrap at the end, especially if there's a mark on it. So cool find, let's keep going. Okay, so got a, a lot of iron in here. As you can see, this thing's jumping all over. But somewhere down in there is a good tone. So let's take this up. Okay, got that plug cut. Here we go. It's really loud. Oh, 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 oh. Fell right out of my hand. Unbelievable. Wow. I already know what that is. It's a giant silver brooch. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get this thing in the light and clean it up. Wow. Oh man. Look at this. Oh, right there too, maker's mark. Oh man, I don't know if I, re I don't recognize that one. Right out of the gate, oh my gosh. Let me turn around and see if I can see. This is huge silver brooch, very awesome pattern, and definitely a maker's mark. I'm gonna just set this down. Uh, see if I can zoom in on that mark. Almost looks like ST. I, I honestly am not familiar with this mark at all. Oh man, that is an awesome find. Just incredible. Wow. Oh, just be very, very gentle. Very gentle. And we'll see. Yeah, this is where he stamped his mark on the other side. You know, it's pretty, not a lot of ornate, not very ornate out, except for the, um, the ribbed exterior, but Man, this is just a really great piece. TS, maybe, I'm thinking. Uh, mm. I'll have to look that up. I am not familiar with that maker's mark. All right, that was, that was an amazing find, that brooch. Um, like I said, do not know that maker's mark, but man, that is a huge silver brooch. Uh, definitely, like I said, knew I heard a good sound in there uh, mixed in that iron. It has a lot, a lot of iron here, a lot of sounds, but... um. Just gonna in really slow with this uh, eight inch or uh, eleven inch coil, and just really trying to pick out good targets inside that iron. And if I get like more solid iron targets, uh, I'm trying to dig them. But uh, anyway, let's keep going. Great find. Just glad you guys are with me. That that was just absolutely a beautiful brooch. So let's keep going. All right. Well, inside another iron field here um, is a good find, and. There it is right there. So this is, you guys probably have seen in some of my other videos, these cones. Um, this is what they go to, an earring. So that, another one that's uh, solid at the bottom. Sometimes these are, oh, maybe not, maybe that is hollow. No, oh, I take that back, that's hollow. So this is a hollow one. Some are solid, some are hollow, um, silver. 
and that'll clean up really good but very intact great condition uh, silver earring so great find let's keep going well i don't know what's going to be in this hole yet uh, i flipped it out but it's like a 12 sound but one of the first things i found was that came out was this clay pipe stem oh, i love finding these gosh it's just amazing old english uh, clay pipe stem so great find it's a great sign so let's see what's in this hole. Oh, nothing in the hole. I see something flat over here. Hold on. Oh. Yep, that's what it was. Right here. Uh. Oh. Looks like it's going to be a new button. Not sure. Looks like it was a yeah improvised button self-made it's just um yeah very very thin so cool find right, let's keep going okay got a target here very small but very clean 19 Dig that. Right there. All right, I'm going to live dig that for y'all. See what we get. All right, here we go. Keep down very deep. Still in there. Oh. I also get a lot, you know, I don't know, I carry uh, a, lead, a lash or whatever. Um, I used to, but like I, I hike a long way and, um, you know, every little bit of weight I could take off me helps. Still in the bottom here. So. I think I see something actually. Let's head to the side. See if that was it. Yep, that's it. This is right here. Oh, yes. Back end of a silver bracelet. piece of a silver bracelet I don't see anything on it but just bare but silver bracelet um, piece cool find could have been like shortened up used as like a trading piece um, you know like a token or something like that but um, great find it's a piece of silver Let's keep going okay got a good sound 15, jumping around a little bit, but let's see what we got. All right, got the plug cut. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, no sign of it, so I'm gonna do a little more digging. Bring it back. Oh, there it is, it's another silver uh, earring piece much like the one I found last week um, just the center piece of it so this one's got a crack in it but uh, no maker's mark or anything but nice piece of uh, trade silver let's keep going well uh, this one's right on the surface almost and just thought it was something modern but ended up being a nice uh, silver brooch good condition so just wanted to get that mm -hmm on cam but uh, good find let's keep going 
Okay, got a screaming 22 here. Um, I'm just gonna live dig it. Probably a modern coin, like penny or something, but or a bullet, but kind of really good. Is that really loud? So let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything in there yet. Oh, well, it wasn't modern, which is good. Um, just a giant piece of uh, kettle brass. That's a good sign, actually. So this is just a you know giant piece of a kettle. I'm gonna cut this up and have it as scrap and use it kind of like the duct tape of the day. Fix anything, found some holes in it, uh, mend it together, but good find. Let's keep going. Okay, got a pretty good 15. This one's kind of small. Let's uh, take it up. Sorry, it, it took a long time, but it was down there and there it was. It was uh, another brooch. So, good find, let's keep going. Well, I had a 12 here, pretty deep, but there it was, another brooch. Yeah, so, good, a lot of brooches today. It's good. Let's keep going. So, this was a sketchy signal. I almost didn't dig it. But man, am I glad I did. Look at this, fully intact knife. Um, still got... Some of the wood on the nails there even looks like um, just fantastic this is really old uh, i can't wait to clean this up could have good maker's marks on it um so just trying to get a little bit of a scrape here don't want to go too crazy on it but really old uh that style i, I would definitely say is like uh, early to mid 1700s based on the, the width of the blade and everything like that so we'll definitely clean this up and give you guys a better look in the wrap-up but great great save right there I was expecting like a tin can or something I'll be honest with you but great save 1700s uh, fur trade knife so let's keep going Oh, sorry I didn't get this one live. Um, good signal, 16, but it was kind of deep. And uh, turned out to be a nice thimble. Trade thimble. So, pretty cool. They're late 1700s. Uh, good find. Let's keep going. Okay. Absolute screaming. 21, 22 here. We're going to go ahead and live dig this one. Maybe... Uh, to get a day here so let's see what we can find and actually um give me one second i'm gonna probe the surface is it right there let's see Oh, another big brooch. Man, it's awesome. Man, I was hoping for a coin, but oh, I, I will take a giant brooch any day. Oh, man, that baby's huge. Oh, yeah, beautiful insignia on there. There are lots of uh, ornateness. 
What a day, two huge brooches. I'm gonna have to take my time and really clean this up good. You guys can see just in the field here. Um, I'm gonna set this down and get a zoom here in just a second, but she has like, they drilled it again. Um, but I'm gonna zoom in. Look at that ornateness on there. So, that when we're gonna find a maker's mark on there somewhere once this gets cleaned up. But, um, great find, man. It's awesome. Alright, that may be the last find of the day. I don't know. I'm gonna try to keep going here. But, um, don't got a lot of time left. So, great find. Keep going. Well, hey, that was a heck of a day. Appreciate y'all being with me. Thanks so much uh, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the content. We definitely saved a lot of history. I'll put the iron items uh, in the wrap up this time, just so you guys can see some of the, the things that I didn't get on camera. Um, there also a few brooches and other things that didn't make the, uh, the video. So that I'll, I'll put in everything from the last two hunts um, from this trading post. So thanks again for being with me. Appreciate all of you uh, that have subscribed. And uh, for the rest of you that uh, just enjoy it, thanks again. We'll see you soon. <laughs>